morning. Well, there's a cloud system moving in, unexpected. Hopefully you can stay away. Well, Peter had a good day yesterday. He, uh, last night, he got 37 acres going on strip tilling and hopefully we can keep him moving. I'm getting him set up with uh, fertilizer right now, so he should be good for maybe not the whole day, but uh, he should be good for quite a bit, quite a bit of acres for the day. And I'm hoping that that system stays away. I'm hoping that I can finish up that wheat, the wheat field I started yesterday and get to the next quarter. If I do, um, hopefully we're end up going to put some beans in with our air seeder. This is our corn blend. Most of it is uh, urea. A little bit of potash. Emia zinc. Oh, we're loaded. I got 24 tons. That should be enough for Peter to do um, oh, I don't know. Another 130 acres-ish, I think. I have to figure that actually out. But Hopefully, the rain stays away. Clouds are building. Rain, rain. Go to Saskatchewan. Not here. We don't want you. For a long time. Or Alberta. Somewhere else. That wants it, needs it. Good for Peter. Throttle down. He's going pretty good. Well, good morning. As you can see, it's cloudy again. It was supposed to be sunny today, but that changed apparently overnight. So, anyway, I've been going for about an hour and a half here and finding more and more spots that are frustrating. So we're busy trying to clean some uh, wheels. Got uh, the gauge wheels are starting to pack full of mud again, as you can see here. So I've been spending about uh, 10 minutes already working on some of these. I needed the brake just to cool down a little bit because there might have been some working words used. But I got four done. And I got uh, a few more to go here yet. So, what you literally got to do, go in here with your hands. Both princess hands allowed here. Scoop this up. I actually broke a metal scraper here yesterday trying to do this, so that didn't work so good. But I got another one that I'm using just to help ease stuff up. But yeah, you gotta love the mud. I'll get this done. And then, now where did I put that? Oh, there's my scraper. And you go along the edge, get it all loosened up, whatever is there. What a mess. And they say this is fun. And it is most days. It's not right now. Again, my second up and down, and my windows are getting wet. It seems to be working okay so far, but it just sucks. As it's not going to take much rain at all, and I just won't be able to go. Just can't win for train. This, this is just hurt. This sucks. Well, that 
system dropped just enough again that I can't go. I gotta. I need some sun now. The rule is, if you're walking and your feet start getting bigger, look at that. It's too wet. I don't know what to do. And there's another system coming, so I think I'm just gonna uh, pack it in. I'll do a few things, need some tweaking. I'll get them done and yeah. Hopefully we can get some sunshine this afternoon so I can get going again. Okay, the sun is out here again. I know I just heard from Kendall, he got rained out about half an hour ago. We have been fortunate enough to get sprinkles but um, that did not shut us down. We are still going. I'm gonna keep giving her and hopefully we can get this field around my yard done here today and, uh, and maybe into another one. couple years but I'm gonna turn the wheels over and we'll let him do a couple rounds so we'll see how this goes one thing you're gonna notice with this view that you won't otherwise we have section control and that thing comes on automatically just like that sweet double check our depth great we are aiming for in that one inch to three quarters of an inch deep just basically in the moisture the quicker they get out of the ground happier we're gonna be so there they are okay I got Peter running Peter going he only has from this hydro pole to their left so what I'm thinking about 25 acres Yeah, I got him moved over to the next field. We call it the Bob's Wild West field. So yeah, we got, I got him moved over. We've had the sun now for a little bit. I'm gonna go do the, go see if I can get going by the air seeder. So, yeah. Nobody else had to stop, but I did. But I guess I got their aim for a reason so I could make sure they can keep going. Whatever, I don't know. Okay, we're back rolling again. See how this will work. The sun's out. We got a little over 100 acres left. We're right around 100 acres left. So. Yeah, 
this is working much better than it was when I left. So hopefully that sun can stay out and it can dry things up a bit and I can get off this field. Sometimes we swear there's uh, there's fields that are just everything starts to go a lot better once you're off of that field. So yeah, hopefully the rain can go away once I'm off of this field. the field. I got one more up and down in the middle where there's a ditch and I'll have to deal with some more mud. I've been able to find some of that. Thankfully enough I actually haven't been able to haven't had to get out and unplug discs. It's just kind of it's so muddy it just kind of goes right through the whole air seeder so I guess that's nice. short manpower everybody is running around and I don't got anybody to help me load so which is fine that's good everybody's busy I was driving by our yard with the seat in it and I'll load this way it's a lot quicker Come? Rock? Yeah. Oh, I could ask him. Whatever. I'll be going around. Like I'll be got lots more to do. I just I thought. What? Okay. All right. Another time. Yeah. Bye, everybody. See you. Yeah. Thank you. Pizza. We're moving around nice on this field. I got 60 acres done. It's been working good. It's been nice and warm. It's a nice breeze. The fields have been drying up nice. It's working really nice. I got a couple mud spots I'm having to go around, but not too bad. I won't even leave an acre probably. For those wondering what an acre is, the 
easiest way to for me to measure out how much I'm, uh, what kind of a mud hole I'm leaving behind, or how many acres I am leaving behind. I always think 16 feet at half a mile. So on this field, I've got maybe I don't know 15 feet at quarter mile. So not leaving much at all. I think on the last field, I'd figured out at most we uh, left two acres because of too wet. More rain clouds. Hoping that they, uh, whatever they bring, I hope it's not much. The forecast for, well, basically after tomorrow, everything's looking like it could be rain. Uh, who knows if they even know what they're talking about, but it's, uh, we're wanting to get the rest of our beans in. We're hoping to be down to just the light land, which is only, uh, what do we have, 200 acres maybe of beans. And uh, after I get the heavy land done. So I'm gonna actually go and put beans in with this unit. And Daryl's gonna get going, which we haven't done that in, oh man, I bet you it's almost been eight years since we put beans down with anything other than our planter. We like the planter better. Um, this works too. But uh, I'm gonna put two, I'm hoping to put in 220 acres in the beans tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. But that's uh, that's the plan right now. If I can finish this field, which I got roughly, I got about 85 acres left-ish. If I can finish that, then <clears throat> I'm going beans. Hopefully the clouds stay away and we get more sun. Okay, so I'm standing right on the last row. You should see that cock turn on as I'm crossing, as it's crossing the line. And it starts. So one would say, Daryl, two planters, a little overkill. Well, yeah, probably. We've actually been doing the beans this way for, I'm gonna say, better part of 10 years with phrases. Uh, we share a tender unit, and uh, that way we can just get hammer down and get lots of acres done in short order. So we're running one 60 footer. That's ours, we got the 24030. 85 24 white and then last year they bought an 88 uh 16 so it's a 16 row 30 and uh slightly different layout of the machine the general concept of the two machines is absolutely identical like the metering system and all that it's just wheel layouts and uh there's a little narrower transport um just a little bit different both good units um we're finding the weaknesses of both of them this year in the mud uh they both have a place they both have their negatives sun shining windows are wet and it's raining Unbelievable. Well, I'm gonna go get some soybeans with the semi. And the sun is wanting to make an appearance. I've only got 70 acres left and I'm done this field. So it's a little over an hour. And uh, I'm hoping if I get an hour of sunshine, that puts me to, uh, I still should be able to finish this tonight. If that sun comes out, which it is. But it's also still raining, so we will see. sunny like just sunny and rainy <clears throat> yes I'm frustrated but we are getting acres done again I have to remind myself that it's that and then 
there's that rainbow. Wow, that looks like it's like right there. A double rainbow. That's double special. That's really close though. That's a bright rainbow. Okay, I'm gonna go get beans with this truck. So I'm ready for the wall. Okay, another system moving in. I think we're gonna get missed by that one. We've had the sun for about an hour and a half now, and I think we're good to go. Try this again. I got. I went and picked up our. I went and picked up our soybeans, so now I'm ready for tomorrow. So. At least I was able to do that. That gets me further ahead. So, always something. Daryl's uh, hammering out more beans. Peter has been slugging away with the, uh, I shouldn't say slugging, he's been doing great. Uh, he's got quite a bit of workman today, so he's doing good. And uh, we're trying to find, we're trying to find some more ground uh, where we can do more stripping on. So that's the next challenge is now finding more dirt because uh, back at my place where I want to put the beans we had one and a half tenths just now so that needs a little bit more than an hour of sun that needs that needs a couple hours so yeah like I said I'll be happy if I can finish this field and move home then I can get ready get the unit ready for beans well we did it we got this uh, field done. I'm gonna take this unit back to my place. In the last two days, our leaves have gone nice and green. Everything's greened up nice. Unit's home, I'll work on it in the morning. We'll get it ready to do soybeans, hopefully, as long as it doesn't rain. So yeah. That's a wrap. Another field of a uh, bunch of fields that we've done. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a good one.